UTRGV men's soccer having success this year due to its defense, but if not for sibling rivalry, UTRGV probably wouldn't have its goalkeeper. UTRGV baseball welcomes back a former player and current minor leaguer. We go to practice with the UTRGV men's basketball team, and we show you the story of Megan Dempsey's transition to UTRGV. All that and more coming up inside this edition of V Nation. V for Valley. V for Victory. And V for Barquetto. This is V Nation. Hey everyone and welcome to V Nation, I'm Jonah Goldberg. One thing about brothers, the older one always thinks he knows best. My older brother's no exception. And sometimes, he's right. Don't tell him I said that. University of Texas Rio Grande Valley goalkeeper Leo Castillo will admit that his older brother, Eduardo, was right once too. Because without Eduardo, Leo Castillo may have never become a goalkeeper. My brother always used to put me in a in between uh, two trees back at home and started shooting free kicks on me. When I was like 12 or 13, uh, we were playing uh, club soccer in, in Katy, Texas. Uh, at halftime, the goalkeeper of our team got injured and in the huddle at halftime, uh, coach asked who wanted to be in goal. And my brother raised his hand and pointed at me and said, uh, he's going in goal. So I looked at him, I was just like, all right, I guess. So I went in goal. Uh, played the second half, I did pretty well and um, went from there. While Castillo may not have been happy with his brother at the time, playing goal allowed him the opportunity to play college soccer. When I played in Houston Dynamo, I think it was uh, it was kind of like a transition into uh, looking into schools and um, it was it, it looked pretty exciting. All the academy players as well, like the ones above me going into college soccer and coming back and uh, having great experiences playing around the, the nation and different stadiums. It was, it was pretty, uh, pretty exciting to know uh, I was going to get to get to do that uh, as well. Castillo starred for two years at Tyler Junior College, where he was a part of a national championship winning team. Winning a national championship in, in, in college soccer, I think, is a, is a very good experience. For me personally, we had lost the first final first year and the second year we get to come out again and uh, and uh, win it uh, so it was a personally a very good uh, experience at the moment you don't know uh, how to feel or what to do you're just like so excited you just won a national championship after finishing up at tyler castillo was attracted to utrgv due in part to its strong soccer culture coach police and uh coach dowling had given me a call um, actually coach dowling was a rival of mine back at tjc uh, they gave me a call and talked to me about the school, and I think what attracted me the most was was the coaches and the atmosphere here in UTRGV. We have Coach Dowling; he was also a really, really good goalkeeper. And Coach Paul, uh, he he's I think he's one of the smartest coaches here in the college soccer. Casillo still has a year and a half left at UTRGV, after which he hopes to play professionally. But when he's done playing soccer, he wants to teach it. My goal is to have like a goalkeeper academy and uh, teach uh, kids um, from, from a young age how to, play, how, to, how to play in goal. Castillo and the Vaqueros taking on 23rd ranked Utah Valley on Friday. Castillo played the match of his life, making a career high nine saves on 10 shots. The Wolverines got their goal in the 56th minute. Moments later, Frederick Frankman with a chance to tie it, and it takes a highlight reel save to deny him. Vaqueros fall, one nil. I think today we did a, a very good job working hard, uh, playing off the ball. And um, I mean, unlucky for us, I think uh, we played uh, really well today. Uh, credit to them, uh, they, they worked hard as well, but um, I mean, it shows that we can uh, compete against top teams. I think you can definitely see a lot of, a lot of maturity um, you know, in the way the boys are playing, and that, that was the most pleasing. They are a very tough team, you could see that. Um, they deserve to be you know, ranked as high as they are. 
Um, you know, and for us, still growing, still learning. You know, and I, I thought we showed, you know, tremendous maturity. So the players, week by week, are starting to learn a lot of what we're doing, you know, within the team structure. And, you know, it's still, it's disappointing, yes, you know, just to fall short. You know, a 1 0 loss still hurts. It doesn't matter whether it's 1 0 or 3 0, it still hurts. And that's the toughest thing, I think, now to make sure that the boys recognize the good work that they're doing, even though we may not have got the result that we wanted. So if we can continue working hard, the results will come. They will come with time. One ranked team, not enough. Vaquero is hosting 19th ranked Seattle U, the number 10 team in the RPI on Sunday. And check this out 57th minute. Alex Ochoa, cross to Isidro Martinez, finds Juanito Garcia, Yahtzee. The Vaqueros go up 1-0, but the Red Hawks get two goals late to pull out a 2-1 win. We still expect a lot from each other, you know, and, and I tell these guys that, that if we think that these teams are better than us, and, and a, lot of, a lot of us say that, and you know, we're, we're there with everyone else, so I feel as if there isn't a big gap between us and then the number 19 team in the nation. You know? It shows a lot about our maturity and our growth. I mean, certainly the first 10 minutes you could see it took us a while to get adjusted to their speed of play, you know, just their general level. I mean, they're a very good team. They're number 10 in the nation in the RPI. So it took us a little while to get adjusted. Once we got a little bit of a rhythm, I thought you're right. I thought we started to, to play nicely at times. But again, it's very tough. We're, we're trying to play a 90-minute game against one of the, the top 10 teams in the nation. And ultimately, you know, they, they found the moments in the game where their quality came through. And, you know, a 2-1 result, yes, it's disappointing. Um, but there's a lot of things that we did well that I'm proud of the, the, from the boys. From the pitch to a pitcher, Last week, we told you about how UTRGV baseball had begun full team practices. Well, this week, an alum and current minor leaguer returned to the stadium. Left-hander Alex Henson, who played for the baseball team the last two years and signed with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim in June, visited practice last week. Henson credits the preparation he received here for his success as a rookie in the Arizona League. You know, you're at the field for 10 hours every single day, and then, and then after you're done practicing, you play that game at 7 at night and I mean it's just a grind you really got to take care of your body and just, you know eat right and make sure you're doing your lifts and conditioning and everything you, you see a lot of guys in there uh, in that program that go come in and they're not really prepared as far as you know conditioning and working out and stuff like that and even their arms you know and they take they take a lot of things for granted but I feel like this program really helped me like just being an underdog you know we're not a huge school but like you know we're just as good as anybody else, you know, so I think that part of it really helped. Our pitching system prepares them um, for the next level. Now, obviously, before they leave, I give them a little, uh, a little. We, we talk a little bit, give them a little cheat sheet as far as hitters and what to look for and tendencies, um, and they take that with them. But, uh, you know, once they leave, they're basically, they're ready to go uh, as far as conditioning and doing the right things off the field. Henson went 2-1 with a 276 ERA, striking out 26 while walking just 9 in 33 innings across 13 games. And now that the season's over, Henson's not only working out, but he got an off-season job as well, working at a car dealership. It's different. It's different for sure. Um, it's not as fun, that's for sure. But, uh, I mean, you got to make money. I, I just got to save up money, get ready for the season, you know, and kind of brings you back to reality as well. Perhaps that's what drew Henson back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. A chance to not only visit his former teammates and coaches, but be around baseball again. I just kind of wanted to just come out and just watch, you know. I just, I, college baseball is a lot of fun, you know. Pro ball is different, so I mean, you, you come, I, I just want to come back and see how it was and see what the team looked like, and you know, I'm rooting them on. When Henson was playing his first professional season this past summer, he made some great memories. But his favorite memory actually involves his college teammate turned professional opponent, Los Angeles Dodgers minor league outfielder Logan Landon. We're playing the Dodgers at, in the AZL, and his first at bat, he hits a hard ground ball in between uh, short and third, and the third baseman got a glove on it. I'm in the bullpen just waiting, and he's jogging out, and I'm like, hey, they marked it as an error. And he's like, what? He's like, what? No way. And I'm like, yeah, and he just got real rattled real quick, so that was. That was pretty funny. He hasn't changed a bit, so I mean, he's a good guy. Last week we showed you how the UTRGV men's basketball team had started full team practices. This week, we give you full immersion. Next Inside V Nation, we take you to a day of men's basketball practice. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to winning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment. 
when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley men's basketball team is now two weeks into full team practices. Romeo Virial followed the team during one of last week's practices, and now he takes us to the court for the full experience. About 7.30 a.m. on our way to go get a good practice in at the Vipers facility. now we're trying to, to instill in them that the pace of play has really got to pick up. You know, you got a 30 second shot clock now. Things got to get up the floor and get into offense and make things happen faster. Come on, y'all. Come on, talk up. One more, one more. This should be the, de the best defensive team we've had by far. We have more length, more athleticism, and uh, uh, we should be a good defensive team. And, and uh, we're slowly getting into that process, but it's, it's, it's been the emphasis all fall, 
and uh, and again, I think we can. Right now, it's harder for us to run offense than it's ever been. So that that's a sign that defensively we're causing a few more problems. When you're icing that guy and you're coming back and you're flying back to yours, just make sure you take a good angle. Hey, go that this. way you're getting your feet back around. That way you're forcing side on base. Just intensity. We just trying to make sure the guys understand our defensive rules and understand the, how hard you got to play. You know, a lot of guys, we got a lot of young guys that you know probably had some sets in the past, but they got to understand. You know, at, at this level, the sense of urgency, the attention to the detail. The intensity you got to do it at, it has to be consistent each and every day. So you're trying to get these guys, you're trying to establish that culture of, of every day. You know, when you step in between these lines, it's, it's a fight. You got to compete, you got to fight, you got you to work to get better. Somebody else got to get the ball stopped. Maybe he shot a layup off the run. You know what I mean? And can't catch up. Somebody's got to call the ball and get it stopped. The jammer becomes a runner. The safety is the safety. We're working on getting a ball inside, trying to find the ball inside, just a little pattern, uh, pattern offense we're, uh, we're putting in, messing with. You've got to learn to accept that pressure. Bounce it out, and all that does is lift the defense, and now we're driving in, shooting layups, curling, wide open. Accept it and handle For a minute, going hard. Uh, a lot of competition. I mean, all these new guys, man, everybody going hard. A mature group. I mean, we always start off with defense, passing, and then um, really just emphasizing playing hard at all times, cutting hard, screening hard, and uh, just staying mentally locked in and everybody doing their job. So, I mean, today was a successful day. Back at it on Sunday. Good job. RGV on three. One, two, three. RGV. Want to get rewarded just for tweeting, Facebooking, and Instagramming about UTRGV athletics? Maybe get bonus points for checking in at home events? Now you can. Download the VFAN Rewards app on your smartphone today. It's a free download, and you can earn points to win prizes such as backpacks, hats, shirts, water bottles, and more. Need more information? Then log on to vfanrewards.com. Megan Dempsey started her college volleyball career at UNLV, but after two years in the desert, she's found a home in a tropical paradise at UTRGV. Coming up inside V Nation, we have Dempsey's story. Two years ago, Megan Dempsey left her home in Marietta, California to play Division I volleyball at UNLV. Now she's pursuing that dream at UTRGV. Romeo Virial has the story. Last year, outside hitter Megan Dempsey was looking to transfer from UNLV, where she played her first two years of college volleyball. She soon started talking with volunteer assistant coach Amber Brooks, who happened to be a former UTB volleyball player under now UTRGV head coach Todd Lowry. Thinking Dempsey would be a good fit for his system, she soon put the two in touch with one another. My volunteer assistant coach last year at UNLV was um, an ex-player of his when they won the national championship at Brownsville. And so she first contacted me um, after he had contacted her and kind of she kind of told me about him and like who he was as a person. Um, and I really enjoyed like what she had said about him. And so she, uh, I told her she, he can call me, I have a release, um, all of that. And so he called me and he was very upfront with me. Like he told me that I don't know for sure if I'm gonna really give you a scholarship. I don't know what's going on, but we want you here. Like we would love to have you on the team. We think you'll be, be a good fit and I really, enjoyed the honesty. Um, I really liked that. Megan uh, was at UNLV and, and I have a former player that was volunteer assistant there and you know we were kind of looking to fill in some holes this summer and um, 
I was in Las Vegas talking to, to ran into my former player and we got to talking and she said that, you know, Megan was probably looking to transfer and someone that maybe could help us. So Megan and I started talking and she came out on a visit and decided this is where, you know, she wanted to finish up her volleyball career. Dempsey is an exceptionally hard worker, which is the trait Coach Lowry puts a lot of stock into. She, she works hard, you know, and comes in and tries to change and tries to get better. And uh, that's what we liked about her. And um, she, she hasn't shown much difference since she's been here. Megan is not only a hard worker on the court, but in the classroom as well. And she feels volleyball is a big help in keeping her better focused on her academics. I know like in high school, I did not have good time management. I mean, I still played volleyball and I did club and all of that, but I didn't, like my time management and my focus wasn't the same because volleyball was my life. And now it, my focus has changed not necessarily more towards academics, but I know that's what's going to carry me on in the future. And so um, I know that if I continue with volleyball, my academics are just going to it's just going to continue to go up as well. Like I know when I like when I can't play volleyball, like I'm injured, my schoolwork is not as good because it's just volleyball kind of keeps everything together. I think for V Nation, this is Romeo Villadiel. Want to help prepare our student athletes for excellence in life? Then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships, so visit GoUTRGV.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others. Just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn. We compete. We inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. Here's what's coming up inside V Nation this week. UTRGV Volleyball home for a pair, welcoming in Seattle U on Thursday and Utah Valley Saturday before traveling to New Orleans Monday. Women's soccer also home for Missouri-Kansas City on Friday and Chicago State Sunday. Thursday's volleyball match and Friday's soccer match are both Vaqueros for the Cure events. So make sure you come out and buy a pink shirt to help support the fight against breast cancer. Men's soccer kicks off a three-match road trip, starting with Air Force and Missouri-Kansas City. Cross country is at Alabama. Men's tennis competes at a tournament at Lamar. Women's tennis is off to Texas State Play Day. Men's golf competes at New Mexico State. And women's golf is at Middle Tennessee State. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in V Nation this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, we play for you. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment 
when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference.